you know what? 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 I was so intrigued by the amount of righteous anger that came through me in that reading that I just posted. High priestesses, basically pull your head out of your ass. Then I'm about it again. Let's let's get at it. Let's get at it. Because I feel so empowered right now. And I know the high priestesses that work diligently on defeating their ego, integrating their shadow with their light. They don't want to lead people astray. You don't want to do that. You want to help bring freedom, a new earth. You want people to feel aligned and energetically um, matched with their wants and their desires, right? Let's see what's coming in for you, high priestesses that understood the mission. Ooh, reclaim your power, bitch. 44. Nothing will come of this situation. Look at this dark energy. I'm getting Lilith energy here. Look at this. It's just so dark. Nothing will come of this situation. Reclaim your power. Ooh, and the severity of it. The quickness, though. The quickness, though. Holy fuck. Guys, it's so powerful today. Holy fuck. I feel like I need to just... Holy fuck. The, the quickness. You pull your energy back because you're like, nothing's going to come of this situation. Absolutely not. And how priestess... Man, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I, it's not me that's nervous. I'm tuning into a collective around you that's fucking terrified. Your quickness in pulling back in something and reclaiming your power and tuning into your Lilith energy, holy shit. Woo! Fairy of the divine hand, intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence. You guys are calling out people for being overindulgent in their, in their atmosphere, in their behaviors, in their habits, in their traits, in their characteristics. You're pulling your energy back so fast from these people, places, and things, groups, events, parties, collaborations, work events, workplaces. Like you guys are pulling your energy so fast. It's like you see, what I'm hearing is the left-hand path. You see those on the left-hand path and you're like, not about it. 222 on the clock, number two here, 2222 or 444, you could be seeing a lot. You're like, I'm not about it. I'm not about to inflate your motherfucking ego. Go take that and shove it. I don't give a shit. Love is strange. And here it is. I feel like there's something about the people that are watching you are, are really um, abnormally outcasted, I just heard. They're watching you. They're abnormally outcasted and divine feminine. They are looking to you because they're like, I know, I know a lot of people around me are like that too. They're like that too. They're really overindulgent right now and they're being really aggressive and mean and, and, and like egotistical. So I'm, I'm really hearing like you're bringing in some weirdos because you're a weirdo, divine feminine. Own your weirdness. I love it. I love weird people. Like, I'll only be friends with weird people. That's it. That's it. I literally cannot stand normal people. Sorry. <laughs> if you're not weird, like, we can't be friends. This is like, you're wondering if you can be anything other than weird. The answer is no. So you might as well own it. And in owning it, you reclaim your power so hella fast that other weirdos like you are like, whoa, I noticed that too. So even though you're leaving your job because you realize the, the narcissistic boss at the top is, is uh, not paying their employees or um, harassing others or whatever the f they're doing, right? So although you're calling out judgment on that narcissistic leader, right? That fallen leader, that one that's about to go down with the ship, you're actually not even really seeing how many people are noticing you and they feel safe around you right now? There's something about like, you look so normal when you do it, but other people are looking at you like, you're just weird like me. You're weird like me, aren't you? It's, uh, I just heard that song um, by, um, all my friends are heathens, take it slow. Heathens. Wait for them to ask you who you know. Uh, please don't make any sudden moves. Because you don't know the half of their abuse. Okay, so Heathens by 21 Pilots. Oh, God, I love that band. Uh, 444 again on the clock. Yes, I love, I love Heathens. That, you know, that's what it is. You're like, I love Heathens. I love Heathens and I see a Heathen in you. All my friends are Heathens. Take it slow. And at the end of that song, the, the, um, 
the singer is like, all my friends are heathens. Don't come at us really fast. They don't trust people. And then by the end of it, he says, it looks like you might be one of us after all. So there's something about these weird people that you're bringing in. They're not weird. They're, well, I mean, they're weird, but they're your weird. They are weird, but they're fucking hella awesome. And these people are looking up to you. Cause you're, you know, this reminds me of when I was working in this really corrupt company. It was a multi-million dollar enterprise. And it was like the most prestigious job I'd ever had. And I was just about to be given the first ever woman um, manager role. Um, I was getting a raise. They were going to give me like a, a new a new desk. They were going to give me like this whole like like big thing for being the first ever supervisor in that department. And I was like, I don't really, I don't really care. Like, that's great, but like, you're kind of a dick. Do I even want to be here? And then um, the, the manager promised everybody a bonus for working Christmas. So everybody that was really impoverished worked on Christmas so that they could afford more for their gifts for their families. We all came in, worked overtime on Christmas. And the next day he came in, the boss came in and said, guys, I didn't actually get that approved from CEO. I didn't get that approved at the top, so we can't give you that bonus. I'm so sorry. Uh-huh, yes. After single mothers didn't work on Christmas. I mean, it worked on Christmas, so they didn't get to party with their kids. I went and put my two weeks notice on his desk that fucking day. They were really shocked as shit. And you know what was even more shocking? Three months later, that department went belly up. They had to outsource it. And I don't even know how the company's doing now, but I'm pretty sure shit's been going downhill for that company ever since I left. I called judgment on that shit when I left. You best believe that. And the divine did too. The divine did too. And you leaving right now, you leaving something, the tower bitch on the bottom, you leaving something, you're not only pulling your energy from it, you're pulling the weirdos who are keeping that shit afloat. You're, you're, everybody's watching you leave it. It's not just one. It's not just the manager. The CEO literally had an intervention, sat me down and said, can we keep you? Is there any way to keep you? Because we, I'll never forget he said this. He's like, because Jenna, what you're going to do is you're going to be swinging from one vine to another for the rest of your life, just hoping to find that tree trunk. So you should probably stay. Yep, his tree trunk is fucking swinging on a vine right now. Because I'm telling you what, judgment is being called on everybody. Everybody in the world right now, it is judgment day. And guess who's the one calling judgment? The divine people, God's people. Weirdos like you. Weirdos, outcasts. And you're the leader of the outcasts. Whoever I'm reading for right now, shit, you're the leader of the outcasts, okay? You are getting your message just like Moses got his message from the divine, please lead my people out of Egypt. Here you are leading a great mass exodus out of some heinous work situation or, or company or cult, okay, religious order, something like that, pulling all these people, all these weirdos like you right out of it. Good. There's hella rewards in that for you. All right, the divine will bless you for that. Ooh, emperor, you can't make it up. Boss bitch right there. Emperor, I'm telling you, you are the leader. You are Moses in this scenario, and you're leading people out of a really shit situation. They need you. They look to you like the leader. You're, you are the leader of the weirdos right now. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Ten of pentacles. Didn't I say you'd be blessed? If any of you are like, well, what am I going to do, though? I'm leaving my job. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You're going to be blessed, honey. Do you know the irony of all ironies? The guy I was dating at the time worked at the company with me. Not only did he get more raises than I would have ever gotten, he allowed me to be a stay-at-home wife and uh, we made ka-ching, ka-ching. We made money, 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 money. All on the CEO's dime. <laughs> so the irony is I didn't have to work because the universe blessed me 
and I got to go learn universal lessons. I get to go through my shadow work. I had to go through a Kundalini awakening. So I, you can't work and go through a Kundalini awakening at the same time. It just kind of doesn't work. Your, your ass has to be set apart. You have to go somewhere else. So, so my boyfriend then became my husband, made bank on the CEO's tree trunk. So I did find a tree trunk. After all, it was my husband. Isn't that funny? So it actually ended up being the CEO still employing me in a way. Isn't that fucking hilarious? I think it's funny. I think that's like the best story I've ever told. Oh, my friends. Why do I keep hearing? Yeah, Queen of Swords. There's something about like you right now, the way that you're speaking, it's like it's so forceful. And I know that you know that, but you need to be about it because this tower is not going to crumble itself, my love. You are the one God is using. That means you're gonna be the one causing the tower. That means you're gonna need to speak with some fucking gumption and conviction, okay? I feel like right now, you guys are judging good and evil, judgment day. Who's judging? Your higher self. Your higher self judged you, judged your good and evil. That's why you got right with the Lord, thank you Jesus. But now you're out there judging good and evil in everything, person, place, event, group, corporation, cult, religious order, uh, social government program, you're calling judgment on all of it as the divine. You are calling judgment. Your higher self is now calling judgment, good and evil. Nothing will come of this situation. You're realizing there's nothing coming of this situation where some, some wannabe has been, ace of cups, is really keeping uh, uh, gifts and blessings away from people that are, wow, wheel of fortune supposed to be getting karma turning in their fate, in their direction, in their, in their, what am I trying to say? In their favor. Yeah. In their favor. You're helping people like that girl who worked on Christmas. She had like five kids. She had five kids and she didn't even, I like, I sometimes, I still want to cry over that. Cause I remember when she came in, she was like, so upset that she couldn't spend time with her kids but she's like I really need the money and she was like I just can't even believe that they are offering it because they, they weren't going to even offer over time they're just going to force people to do it but she's like I think I need the money so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it and my kids understand we did Christmas early my kids understand and the next day the devastation on her face I was like, why the fuck would I want to, why would I want to be a manager here? Why, why do I even want to work in this department? I don't. And so when I left three months later, it was outsourced. So they, they don't even have that department anymore. And from what I've heard, people are not happy that it's outsourced because it's going to some other people that don't even give a shit about the company. And so ironically, my husband just kept getting promotions and raises and promotions and became the CEO's top guy. So powerful in that company that he actually became, um, well, kind of a business owner in his own right because the CEO wanted him to start a sister company. That's how powerful my husband became. That, that branch turned into a tree trunk. All right. And I wasn't complaining about the tree trunk that he and I had. Okay. So ironically enough, the CEO lost that comp that, that department and then still employed my ass. Hey, that's funny as fuck. Look at that. The magician here. See, it's like a lot of people don't understand that this is how the universe works. Karma is karma. Like get yours. Okay. Get yours. Thank you so much. So Right now, Divine Collective, what you are doing is you are leading the way and you are showing these people, look, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to do it boldly. And if you join me, there will, be, there will be a lot of benefits in it for you as well. Ten of Pentacles, you will be able to manifest wealth. You will be able to have exactly what you want when you want it. You best believe that. And it's going to, one day you'll look back at it and you'll be like, that shit was funny though. They had that whole department outsourced. All of those cool weirdos like me are out there probably making double what they made there and they're being treated like human beings. That's what I like to tell myself. I like to tell myself that everybody that left, because at first I felt guilty for quitting. Um, at first I felt really guilty because there's all these people that needed me and I would have made a great supervisor. I would have gave a shit. I would have gone up against that, that, 
that boss of mine and told him a thing or two, I would have. So I felt almost so much guilt for leaving, for putting the notice on his desk. But the irony is after I did that, the CEO came in with my boss, sat me down and was like, can we get you to stay? No, no, you can't. You can't get me to stay. You can't get somebody to stay that has already made up their damn mind that you're corrupt as fuck. Bye. Bye, Page of Swords. And you have no idea how many people are watching you do this. So when I made a stink about it, I put in my two weeks, slammed it on his desk. He immediately turned red. He's like, okay, okay, okay. Fine, 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 fine. I'll go to the, I'll, I'll get the, I'll get the raise for everybody. I'll get that Christmas bonus worked out, all right? I'll do it, I'll do it. I was like, sure, you, you absolutely should. I think that's great. A for effort. Go ahead. I'm still quitting because this is corrupt as fuck. So right now, look, you guys are, you guys are calling out people who are over intoxicated, over indulged in their own ego, in these business practices, in these politician movements, in these, in, in, in actual social movements. I'm talking like world fucking wide, bro. I am not talking about just helping 10 people in one department. I'm talking the divine needs you at a big level. All right. And right now it might be only 10 people, but one day maybe you'll be leading a lot more, you know? Anyway, there are so many people watching you, spying on you, watching you do this. Nine of Pentacles, and they're going to watch you be blessed by the divine. You best believe it. Take this leap of faith. Take this leap of faith. Lead the great exodus. And I promise you, Moses, there will be good shit in it for you, okay? What else, spirit? The high priestess. You're going to know where to go. Like, you're going to know what to do. You're going to feel just like... You're going to feel so good. You're going to be able to sleep at night. You know what I mean? There's something to be said about just knowing you did the right thing, but it hurt. Because often doing the right thing does hurt a little bit, you know? I didn't know where my money was going to come from. I didn't know. I mean, yeah, yeah I was dating my, my boyfriend who then became my husband, but I didn't actually know that he would be able to provide for me. He was, at that time, he was still like the lowest paid guy in, in that department that he was working in. So, so I didn't know how it was gonna work. I just knew that God was saying, if you do what I tell you, Jenna, I will bless you. And he blessed my husband handsomely, consistently. The man got more raises in a year than anybody else in the company. The bonuses, the, the upgrades, God blessed me via my husband for doing the right thing. And I'm telling you right now, you guys are leading a mass exodus and you need to be aware that God will, I promise you, I, it, it is, it is, look at this temperance. Oh my God. And the lovers, look at these angels guiding people out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Look at that. You walk the temple path, you're going to be able to sleep at night. And I'm telling you right now, the Lord provides. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. This was a great reading. Um, I hope it helped. And I hope my story helped. You know, I, I look back at it now and I'm like, it was so perfect. Like if you, if you look at how everything happened, like it's just too fun. It's, it's amazing how the universe works. It's amazing how God works. It, it, it doesn't, it, it never ceases to amaze me how God just wants his people to do so well. And I, I love God. I will always love God. It, it, I, I mean, you can't go to rock bottom where there's nothing without finding God. And once you find God there in the darkness, there's nothing left to see but God everywhere. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.